Hi, my name is Chris Malloy. I work here at SRAM at the San Luis Obispo facility. We're a small development location here. I've worked here for about five years. I'm focused on advanced development of carbon cranks. Previous to this, I worked down in Southern California for Boeing and worked on aerospace related products. And that's where I really got into carbon fiber parts and components. Today I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit more about the 2012 RED crank set. I've been working on this for about four years and it's basically a redesign of our, of our crank set where we started from the ground up and looked at how we can make the stiffest and lightest crank on the market. So if we look at a right arm, the first thing you'll notice right away is that we clocked the spider. This was done for a few reasons. The first was to eliminate one of the spider fingers that saved us weight. Another was to tie in one of the chain ring interfaces with the, with the arm of the crank arm that makes the part stiffer. And another reason is, is so that this design can be more carbon friendly. So by clocking and eliminating one of the spider fingers, we made this transition from the arm to the spider finger more gradual, which is more friendly for carbon fiber. If you look at a cross section, you'll notice the exogram technology. Using a proprietary process, we made the crank hollow even through the spider fingers. And that allowed us to put the weight where it counts out on the outside, where it can make the crank stiff and also light. Moving on to the BB30 left arm, I want to show you guys a, another unique feature of this crank arm. We actually bond in the spindle, so we eliminate an additional aluminum insert at this location, saving additional weight. With the exogram technology, one of the things that we really looked for was controlling the outside shape and the inside shape very closely. You can see here how consistent the wall thickness is. That allows us to eliminate more material because we don't have to over-design for areas where the part is thick and thin. Another thing to talk about is the difference between the BB30 arm that you see here and the GXP arm. You'll notice that the GXP arm is kind of flatter here. And then with BB30, it takes a dive down. With the BB30 arm, we're able to optimize the crank even further for ankle clearance because the frame BB width is less. So we can actually jog the crank arm in to gain more ankle clearance. All of this together results in a crank arm that has a stiffness to weight ratio that's approximately 20% greater than our previous generation of red.